there will be another CH2 over here and then OH or instead of the OH being on the first carbon atom it can be on the second carbon atom so this can be CH3 CH in brackets OH to show that it's bonded to the second carbon atom CH3 now if we draw the structural formula of this alcohol then we get uh, not the structural sorry the skeletal formula if we draw the skeletal formula of this alcohol we get if you see CH3 CH2 CH2 OH so this is the skeletal formula for this alcohol and for the second one it is CH3 CH bonded to NOH then CH3 again so you can see the difference between these two alcohols they are isomers because they have the same molecular formula but they have different structural formula if you see they are structural isomers now um, these are, so, so this one is called a primary alcohol because you can see that the carbon to which the OH carbon is attached, let's call it this the alpha carbon, the, car, the carbon to which the OH is attached, which is the alpha carbon, it is in turn attached to only one carbon atom. As you can see, the, this carbon atom is attached to another only one carbon atom. So this is called a primary alcohol. But if you look at this carbon, this, this alcohol, if you look at this alcohol, you can see that the carbon to which the alcohol is attached, so this is the alpha carbon atom, the carbon to which the alcohol group is attached, it is attached to this carbon atom and it is also attached to this carbon atom. So you can see that it is attached to two carbon atoms, so this is called a secondary alcohol. So we, we name this as propen 1-all, we name this alcohol as propen 1-all because you can see that the alcohol group is on the first carbon atom so that gives us the 1 and prop because there are 3 carbon atoms so propen 1-all. Then this alcohol is known as propen 2-all because you can see that the alcohol group is on the second carbon atom and um, uh, the, and so we have two and we have prop because there are three carbon atoms so propen one all and propen two all these are two different isomers of uh, propen all which is C3H7OH now what if uh, I'm sorry about that what if we have butanol so butanol as we know will be C4H9OH so let's see what all isomers we can have for butanol there can be CH3, CH2, 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 OH. Now in this one, if I draw the skeletal formula, I prefer drawing skeletal formula because um, uh, it's very easy to understand. So, so this will become this alcohol. Now, you can see CH3, CH2, 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 OH. So four carbon atoms and uh, nine hydrogen atoms attached to them and then the OH group. So let's start naming this. So one, two, three, and four. So this is the number. So there are four carbon atoms as you can see. And you can see that the OH group is attached to the first carbon atom. The OH group is attached to the first carbon atom. So this becomes Butan because four carbon atoms in total one because the alcohol group is on the first carbon atom and all so this becomes butan one all then we can have another isomer which is CH3 CH2 CH2 C uh, okay I have made a mistake over here so instead of CH2, this becomes CHOH and we have CH3 over here. 
So now let's draw the skeletal formula. Now you can see that this time 